Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to the World War II tutorial series with me, Metallic Shard. Today, the American Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress Bomber is joining us. And uh, this was used for day raids over Europe. It was a long-range bomber, so these often went without fighter escort, in which case they're totally at the mercy of the Luftwaffe, which is why they were given so many machine guns. Compared to the Lancaster, this is obviously just bristling with uh, 50 calibre machine guns. And the reason the Lancaster bomber didn't have all this was it was a night bomber, so it didn't really have to worry. Another thing that threatened the B-17 was German flak. And uh, this design, the design of the B-17, was very rugged. It could take an awful lot of crap from both German fighters and German flak and still stay in the sky. Many returning third bases, for example, on one engine, or with half a tail missing, or with half a wing missing. Well, maybe not quite that much, but uh, yeah, a very stable design. So we've got two variants that we'll be making and then one extra paint job. This variant here is the B-17G. I'll be making this particular one in the tutorial first. The B-17 you see over here is a copy of the B-17G, except it's got the uh, historically accurate camo, which is the silver paint job. But if the stone brick steps annoy you, then just go ahead and build that dark grey one. I can't do anything about this obviously because there's no uh, stone steps in Minecraft. And lastly we have the Royal Air Force Coastal Command B-17 Mark II. The Americans lend leased quite a few of these to RAF Coastal Command who use them for hunting U-boats. And this is a different uh, version of the B-17. I think this might be the B-17E but the uh, the British called it the B-17 Mark II, because we're British, we do things differently, don't you know? Anyhow, this is the B-17, guys. Let's... Right, so, start off with a basic stone brick block. And behind this basic stone brick block, level with the top half of it, place 15 slabs in a line. And at the end here, go up half a block and place three more slabs. And again, another three slabs. And once more, oops, uh, once more, but with just two slabs at the end. And place two slabs on top of these two slabs to make them solid blocks. Back at the front here, place lines of upside down steps, three blocks long either side and then behind these a line of stone brick blocks that ends two blocks before the end of the original stone slab line as you can see and obviously do the same for the other side right now uh, two blocks in from the front you're going to place another stone brick block line and this time it's going to extend two blocks over the first. At the, uh, on the very first two front steps here, place slabs and then steps behind the slabs like that. Now we're going to place a solid block here between the slabs, then attach uh, fence, uh, not fence, a glass pane to it like that. Behind this solid block here, we're going up half a block, so place two slabs like this, then two slabs either side, and glass behind this like so. And now behind the glass, it's another four slabs, um, I mean uh, steps. and then you're going to place your first turret right here just behind the cap then place two slabs and then two more glass Be 
behind these steps here, place four slabs in a line and then just cover up this gap with slabs like that. The shape, uh, now we're going to make a certain shape here. Uh, so, right, uh, how does it go again? Okay, so on the end two blocks here, place slabs like this, then slabs underneath those end two blocks, and then finally steps here and here. And you also want to fill in this gap here with a slab. And for the rest of the aircraft's length to the end, just build it up like this. And now I guess it's time for the tail. So count one block in from the very back and place glass there then two blocks on top of this glass then go one block in and place one more block and then steps like this then one block again and now we're going down so one block then another block and a slab here and more slabs like this so basically it's three slabs to one one and then a 1.5 climb. Anyway, you can see it there. And just fill that in. Now for the tail wing. That is, uh, it's gonna be a three times three slab square like this, just below the solid block here, and three blocks in from the end. Then a two times three slab square, I mean rectangle and then one extra slab at the end. Okay, so before we go onto the main wings, um, we're gonna place all the turrets on this aircraft and all its armament. So go ahead and grab some dark oak fence gates and place them around the aircraft like me. So this is the tail gunner. And I think we've also got some uh, more glass and extras to put in. Yeah, actually, uh, go ahead and grab some carpet, light gray carpet, and place it on top of the cab like that. The front turret is uh, the fence gates again and uh, Place them like that and then open them towards the uh, block which is the turret. That way it looks like it's two separate gun barrels attached. Same applies for this turret here. Then we're going to install another turret and this is going to be in line with the last glass block here. At the bottom of the aircraft place glass for this turret remove this block to make way for the uh, gate and just place it up here and then just place the gate and finally the two side guns which are going so they're in line with the very front of the tail here well that one is anyway the left hand one and then the right hand one is just just uh, well, in between the starts of the tail and the glass you see here. And simply place fence gates like this. Right, is there anything I've missed before we go onto the wings? Let's just check. No, there isn't. Right, now we're going to do the wings then. All right, so place two slabs like this, level with the uh, end of the cab like that and half a block down then behind this uh, lower slab here two solid blocks and then a slab at the end and behind the upper slab just another slab now extend these two upper slabs here so they're eight blocks out in total so one two three four five six seven eight then go in one block and place another eight slabs 
double back here so it's two blocks thick and end it just there. Down here we're going to place uh, six slabs attached to this block here so just one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to go okay on the uh, one, two, three, four on the fifth slab out here place two slabs and then another two here and here and lastly here just uh, five slabs in total so one two three four five now to modify the under part of the wing extend these two blocks here so they're five blocks out in total so one two three four five and just put slabs here and slabs uh, like that. From this point onwards the whole of the rest of the wing, well almost the rest of the wing, is all just slabs underneath. At this point here, where it's five blocks from the end, leave it as one slab thick. And now for the engines. So the first engine is two blocks out from the fuselage, place uh, two blocks like this, two slabs on top and then attach it to the wing properly like this. The second engine is three blocks away from the first. So another again, two blocks, two slabs, then a slab, and this time steps like this. Not forgetting uh, the little wheel poking out. The wheels didn't quite fully retract on the B17, so just place a nether brick slab like that that is supposed to look like a wheel. And now for the propellers. So uh, grab some skeleton skulls, uh, glass panes and glass blocks and build our standard propellers. Glass all the way around the skull and then glass panes like that. And as you can see, I've already done the other wing. Once you've made one wing, you'll know how to make the other because it is just a mirrored version, of course. So that is our first B-17 done. Now we're going to move on to the Coastal Command variant of the B-17 and also the alternative camouflage, which is really simple. So if you want to make the Coastal Command version, the aka the B-17 Mark II, simply make a quartz version of the B-17 we just made in the tutorial there or the first part of the tutorial. And then I will show you how to make the modifications necessary that turns this into the Royal Air Force B-17 Mark II. These modifications being, well firstly, oops, uh, the removal of the front turret here, and then the addition of these trap doors, uh, and these just add a bit more um, scale to the engines which were a bit bigger so you can do them. I wish I could do them on the other B-17 but there are no grey trapdoors as of now so can't really do it. And of course uh, I should have pointed this out at the start you're obviously going to do this uh, different camouflage and apply it in any way you like. You can see where to put the blocks it's pretty simple. There's this uh, addition of an aerial here on the tail uh, two blocks in and then we've got some uh, Royal Air Force markings namely this J banner and also the little French flag which I will now show you how to make so go ahead and grab a crafting table and also a white banner rose red dye lapis lazuli and bone meal right um, so we'll make the French flag first. It's not really the French flag, but I'll always call it the French flag because it's simpler. So you can see what to do here. And then halve the uh, height of the French flag. Now you've got one. We've got to do an inverted version. So the red is at the front this time. 
and now for the J. Um, I used a uh, tutorial from YouTube to make this and I've actually managed to close the window so let's see if I can remember how to make it. Uh, a banner Um, I can already feel this going wrong. Come on. Uh, no, wait. No, no, no. It's going right. No, I have remembered. It's pretty simple anyway, I guess. There we go. I've made a J. So, that's just... Uh, well, I don't really need to install them. You can see where to put them. Just behind each uh, gun port on either side and then at the tail here in the middle now for the last uh, instructions on how to make the last aircraft last B-17 well this is pretty simple again you do what I did in the tutorial except with uh, stone brick slabs instead of the uh, stone brick I mean stone slabs instead of the stone brick and uh, wherever there are steps then uh, you'll have to retain them because there's obviously no stone steps in Minecraft right now and apart from that it is identical so uh, those are our three B17s done and if you enjoyed this tutorial guys please leave a like or subscribe to this channel help it get more popular and support the new series coming out you will be rewarded with many examples of World War II aviation and ground forces and perhaps, perhaps even naval. Yes, I am thinking of putting in a U-boat or motor gun boat or maybe even a destroyer if I'm feeling generous and also brave because they are very big things to make. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.